<laughs> Hello friends and welcome of you with this new course. In this course, I decided to make it uh, in a different way. That means we will not about talking about uh, technical things that we have used to talk about earlier. In this course, we will focus on how to enhance uh, uh, our application by using some packages that is already there or some packages that I have designed on my own or some packages that I it is there already there and I have altered them made some special classes for these packages and I have used them and the idea is that we need to use these packages to enhance the the look of our application and to give us some uh, features some special features that we can use in our application some features that maybe don't exist in other application because it will be only for our application because some of these packages I have designed them on my own so it's like a custom uh, designed packages that can do something special for our application which if you use them you will have it only on your application because in general it's not available because this, this is idea. let me tell you what's it all about suppose that you have a company and you have, or you have a product usually the uh, in advertising either you ad advertise a video or an image about that product or about the company let's suppose you have a company and you want to do a presentation video so you will show the presentation but at the same time you cannot show uh, the images about uh, that company in a certain combination and in a certain sequence it come to my mind to custom one uh, a package that can give me this opportunity this option that i can show the videos and the images in a combination and in a certain sequence that will uh, uh, give more details to the user about this company or that product okay let's see uh, the same thing i have applied on my application which is available on play store uh, suppose this is a company and wish to uh, present a, vid a presentation video then it will to show some images in the same sequence and one combination that's what i have done in my application in my application which is on google play store so this company wish to uh, show first the presentation video which will be coming either from youtube or from any other uh, video platform you select it's an online thing you can choose whichever platform to show your videos so this is a presentation video this is the first video about your company or about your product and once the video finishes i have selected the time for only 30 seconds you could check any any time then the image of that company or that product will show up after the video in a certain sequence unfortunately here it will not show because the filming was uh, not in a good way but this is the idea the idea is that we do a combination of video one video or more one image or more we do the combination we do the sequence of showing them uh, in one place in one time okay that's the whole idea that's what i have done customized one package to show this thing so uh, without further ado uh, first of all i forgot to say i thank you for watching my channel and i do hope that you support me by subscribing to the channel and if you do like this video please hit the like button and hit the notification bell so you could get the latest videos now this feature is the first feature in this series now there will be more features each one i will add one after the other one after the other this feature will consist of two videos this video and the next video now about the other features that will come on one after the other of course uh, so let's start on this is just an application a normal application that you have seen uh, before uh, if you wish to know about the app.dart or the main or the app.dart you could go to my course flutter 2.5 with extra features you will understand everything 
about the app dot dot and how you will create the, uh, the application how you create the pages the settings the routing of these pages it's all mentioned in my course flutter 2.5 with extra features so this is the application that i had created this is the home page the home page consists of a button this button will show us the first feature this feature will consist of two videos as i said the next features will come on one after the other okay so let's talk about the first feature which is combining videos and images in a certain and showing them in a certain sequence this is the let's press on this button show media suppose this is a company or a product or whatever the company name it's a text field the company name or product name whatever it's just a text field and then here we will add the link of the video from a YouTube or from any other uh, video platform and then we select an image we select an image either from the device or from the camera from here now in case you have made a mistake then you can press on this button to remove the image the wrong image and then you reselect either from the device or from the camera okay and then once you have done this all this you hit the save button and all this data will be sent to the database for persistence this is the first part this is the page the first part i have divided this page into two parts this is the first part which we will talk about in this video and this is the next part which we will talk about in the next video this part is that where we will type here the product that we have added in here or the company name or whatever here and then we will fetch the data we hit the fetch button we will bring the data including the video and the images related to this product or related to this company and we will show them in a sequence in a sequence in a certain sequence that we will decide based on our requirements okay this we will talk about in the next video but for this video we will talk about on this thing as you can see this is a very uh, simple design just two text fields and uh, which we have talked about also in uh, earlier uh, course i think it's flutter 2.5 with extra features if i'm not mistaken so you could go there and you will see how you can uh, do this also but just for a short recap we want to save some data that means we need a form three controllers one for each text and one method this method will track any changes that happen in this text field or in this text field so this is the video link controller which consists of this one for this text field and also the method of it and then the product controller which for this text field and the method of it to track any changes in this text field and then this one is for the for this which is for the next video we will talk about not for this video okay now we need to grab the image either from the camera or or from the device these are the two methods to grab the camera or to grab the image from the camera or from the gallery we also talked about that in the previous videos in the previous course uh, by the way i will put this all this code in the, in the in the uh, github and uh, to replace the image by hitting this button you remove this image and then you can reselect now we need to set a default image that will be shown in here when this page starts we need to set a default image why because if there is no default image you will get an exception so we need to set a default image just to show it when this page is opened okay so 
you could select whichever default image is totally up to you in my case I have selected this image which comes from my device you need to put your address here wherever this uh, default image you wish to take and once this method immediately we need to initialize it before this page is open before this page is open so this image will be brought even before opening the uh, the page or the widget so it can be ready to be used so that's why we will initialize it actually after it sorry after it so we need to but the first thing we need to do is to initialize this get image get no image data this method so we can grab this the default image and use it immediately when this widget starts we initialize these controllers for the text field we dispose them we will use a provider in this but i will not talk about because it's not now it's for the next video the remaining is just uh, a simple uh, design just text fields there is nothing special about we already talked about in previous courses just uh, some text fields and uh, nothing uh, special about about the design if you're asking about this design from where we are bringing this design this will be uh, from this class which you can find it at the end of the of this uh, file product image grid view which i already have designed it on my own uh, so this is the design and it whenever you press on any button some action will be taken based on the get image from gallery or get image from camera so if it's get image from camera if i click on here i will invoke this method which will take me above to the method that i have told you that we need to use an image picker to pick the image from the camera or you will use an image picker to pick the image from the gallery when we click on this button that's it that's the whole story about the design of the first part of this part and as for the uh, persisting the data you could uh, if you're asking from where we implementing this database i think you should go to my course flutter with postgresql flutter and postgresql it's all mentioned in there you could have a, a very decent information about how to create a postgresql database for your flutter application so it's postgresql and flutter which if i'm not mistaken is gonna be in uh, this one actually this is the flutter database it has a few uh, videos so you will know everything about in here whatever we uh, we will do in here it will be mentioned all in there we just create uh, a model class and this method save data model we will create some uh, we need to get three things we need to get <coughs> of course the product of course we get this text field and the video link as well as and of course we get the image and we pass them to the model we pass these three things to the model and from on the model we pass it to the database these three arguments we pass them to the database and then we persist them we persist them and all <coughs> everything you need to know about the database <coughs> it's all mentioned in here in this course in flutter database 
and that's how we can persist all the details that you will add in here the product or the company name or whatever the link the video link from YouTube or any other platform and then the images and you hit the save button and it will be saved okay this is the first video which we didn't talk about much because it's everything we have said and we talked about the same in other videos so uh, what's important actually though is the next video is the next video when we fetch the data and we see how we can combine them and how we can create a sequence to show this combination okay now if you do like this video please hit the like button and do subscribe or support me thank you very much and see you in the next video